वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ बेसिक इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंपॉर्टेंट एमसीक्यूज यूनिट थ्री इज बायपोलर जंक्शन ट्रांजिस्टर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इज अ ट्रांजिस्टर हैज हाउ मेनी डोप रीजन ऑप्शन आर वन टू थ्री फोर एंड द आंसर इज सी दैट इज थ्री रीजन डोप रीजन दैट क्वेश्चन नंबर टू इज वॉट इज वन इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग ट्रांजिस्टर्स डू फर्स्ट इज एम्पलीफाई वीक सिग्नल्स सेकेंड इज rectify line voltage third regulate voltage and fourth is emit light and the answer is first that is amplify weak signals then question number 3 is who invented the first junction transistor uh, options are pele faraday marconi and uh, sokechle and the answer is uh, d then question number 4 is in an npn transistor the majority carriers in the base are free electrons holes neither or both and the answer is holes these are the majority of free carriers then next is the barrier potential across each silicon depletion layer is what options are 0.3 m volt then 0.7 volt and 1 volt and the answer is 0.7 volt question number 6 is the emitter diode it is usually what uh, first option is forward bias second is reverse bias third non conducting and fourth is operating in breakdown junction and the answer is uh, forward bias emitter diode is forward bias then question number 7 is a normal operation of transistor uh, of the transistor the collector di diode has to be what Uh, options are forward bias reverse bias non conducting operating in breakdown region and the answer is second that is reverse bias question number 8 is a base of an npn transistor is thin and uh, heavily doped lightly doped metallic or doped by pentavalent material and the answer is it is lightly doped that is b most of the electrons in the base of an npn transistor flow are out of the base lead then second is into the collector third is into the emitter and fourth is into the base supply and the answer is it is b that is into the collector most of the electrons in the base of npn transistor do not recombine because what Uh, have a long lifetime second is have a negative charge third is must flow a long way through the base fourth is flow out of the base and the answer is uh, a that is have a long lifetime question number 11 is most of the electrons that flows through the base will flow into the collector second flow out of the base lead third recombine with base hole fourth recombine with collector holes and the answer is first that is most of the electron that flow through the base uh, will flow into the collector question number 12 is a current gain trans of a transistor is the ratio of collector current to the emitter current then second is collector current to base current third is base current to collector current and fourth is emitter current to collector current and the answer is b that is collector current to base current then question number 13 is increasing the collector supply voltage will increase what base current collector current emitter current or none and the answer is none question number 14 is the light uh, the fact that only a few holes are in the base region means the base is lightly doped heavily doped undoped or none of the above the base is lightly doped question number 15 is in a normally biased npn transistor the electrons in the emitter have enough energy to overcome the barrier potential of base emitter junction then base collector junction collector base junction recombination path and the answer is a that is base emitter junction Question number 16 is when a free electron recombine with a hole in the base region the free electron becomes another free electron second is a valence electron 
a conduction band electron and fourth is a majority carrier and answer is b that is it becomes a valence electron question number 17 is what is the most important fact about collector current the most important fact about collector current options are it is measured in milliampere then it equals the base current divided by the current gain it is small it is approximately equal to emitter current and the correct answer is it is approximately equal to emitter current question number 18 is if the current gain is 200 and the collector current is 100 milliampere the base current is what 0.5 milliampere 2 milliampere 2 ampere or 20 ampere and answer is it is 0.5 milliampere question number 19 is a base emitter a voltage is usually less than the base supply voltage equal to base supply voltage more than the base supply voltage or cannot answer and it is less than the base supply voltage 20th question is the collector emitter voltage is usually less than the collector supply voltage equal to collector supply voltage more than collector supply voltage or cannot answer it is less than collector supply voltage this question is repeated i think the more uh, the power uh, dissipated by transistor approximately equals to the collector uh, current times base emitter voltage collector emitter voltage base supply voltage or 0.7 volt it is collector emitter voltage then question number 22 is a small collector current with zero base current it is caused by leakage current of what emitter diode collector diode base diode or transistor uh, and the answer is collector diode question number 23 is a transistor act like a diode and a voltage source current source resistance or power supply and the answer is current source then question number 24 is if the base current is 100 milliampere the current gain is 30 the collector current is what uh, 30 milliampere sorry 300 milliampere 3 ampere 3.33 ampere or 10 ampere and the answer is uh, 3 ampere that means if the base current is 100 milliampere and current gain is 30 then the collector current is 3 ampere then question number 25 is the base emitter voltage of an ideal transistor is 0.3 0.7 or 1 volt and the answer is it is 0 uh, volt then if uh, you recalculate the collector emitter voltage with a second approximation the answer will as usually be smaller than the ideal value the same as ideal value larger than ideal value or inaccurate and it is larger than ideal value question number 27 is in the active region the collector current is not changed significantly by base supply voltage base current current gain or collector resistance and the answer is it is collector resistance the base emitter voltage of second approximation is 0.3 0.7 or 1 volt and it is uh, 0.7 volt Uh, question number 29 is if the base resistor is open what is the collector current it is 1 uh, sorry 0 1 milliampere 2 milliampere or 10 milliampere and the answer is it is 0 collector current is 0 now question number 30 is the current gain of a transistor is defined as the ratio of collector current to be base current emitter current supply current or collector current and the answer is base current question number 31 is the graph of current gain versus collector current indicate that the current gain is constant very slightly very significantly or equal the collector current divided by the base current and the answer is it varies significantly uh, question number 32 is when the collector current increases what does the current Uh, gain do and the options are decrease decreases stay the same uh, same increases and any of the above and the answer is any of the above 
क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी टू इज एज द टेम्परेचर इंक्रीजेस द करंट गेन डिक्रीजेस वेदर रिमेन्स सेम और इंक्रीजेस और कैन बी एनी ऑफ द अव एंड द आंसर इज एनी ऑफ द अव दैट मीन्स वेन द टेम्परेचर इंक्रीजेस इट विल डिक्रीज और रिमेन सेम और इंक्रीज वेन द बेस रेजिस्टर डिक्रीजेस द कलेक्टर वोल्टेज विल प्रोबेबली whether decreases stay the same or increases or do all the above and the answer is it decreases if the base resistor is very small the transistor will operate in the first cut off region then second is active region third is saturation region and fourth is breakdown region and the answer is a saturation region region ignoring the bulk resistance of the collector diode the collector emitter saturation voltage is zero uh, second option is a few uh, tenth of volt then one volt and last is supply voltage and the answer is uh, zero question number 37 is three minimum q points are shown on a load line the upper q point represents what minimum current gain then intermediate current gain maximum current gain or cut off point it in represents maximum current gain if a transistor operates at the middle of the load line and increase in the base resistance will move the q point down up nowhere or off the load line and the answer is it move q point down uh, question number 39 is if a transistor operates the middle of the load line and increase in the current gain will move q point down up nowhere or uh, load line the answer is up question number 40 is uh, if the uh, base supply voltage increases the q point moves whether up uh, down up nowhere or off the load line and the answer is q point moves up uh, suppose the base resistor is open the q point will in the middle of the load line in the upper of end of the load line at the lower end of the load line or off the load line and the answer is it is at the lower end of the load line then question number 42 is if the base supply voltage is disconnected the collector emitter voltage will equal to 0 volt uh, 6 volt 10.5 volt or collector supply voltage and the answer is it is collector supply voltage question number 43 is if base uh, resistor is sh shorted the transistor will probably saturated in cut off destroyed or none of the above and the answer is the transistor will probably destroyed if the collector resistor decreases to zero in a base bias circuit the load line will become whether horizontal vertical useless or flat and the answer it it becomes vertical question number 45 is the collector current is uh, 10 milli ampere if the cur current gain is 100 the base current is 1 micro ampere 10 micro ampere 100 micro ampere or 1 milli ampere and the answer is c that is it is 100 micro ampere question number 46 is the base current of 50 micro ampere if the current gain is 125 the collector current is closest in value of 40 micro ampere 500 micro ampere 1 milli ampere or 6 milli ampere and the answer is it is 6 milli ampere that question number 47 is when the q point moves along the load line the voltage increases when the collector current decreases stays the same increases does does none of the above and the answer is it current decreases when there is no base current in a transistor switch the output voltage from the transistor is whether low high unchanged or known the uh, voltage is high uh, 49th question is a circuit with a fixed emitter current it is called as which type of circuit it is base bias emitter bias transistor bias or two supply bias and it is emitter bias uh, type of uh, circuit the first step in analyzing emitter bias circuit is to find 
बेस करंट एमीटर वोल्टेज देन एमीटर करंट और कलेक्टर करंट एंड इट इज एमीटर वोल्टेज इफ द करंट गेन इज अनोन इन एन एमीटर बायस सर्किट यू कैन नॉट कैलक्युलेट एमीटर वोल्टेज एमीटर करंट कलेक्टर वोल्टेज और बेस करंट यू कैन नॉट कैलक्युलेट बेस करंट फिफ्टी टू क्वेश्चन इज इफ द एमीटर रेजिस्टर इज ओपन द कलेक्टर वोल्टेज इज वेदर लो हाई अनचेज और अनोन द एमीटर वोल्टेज द कलेक्टर वोल्टेज इज हाई इफ द कलेक्टर रजिस्टर इज ओपन द कलेक्टर वोल्टेज इज लो हाई अनचेज और अनोन इट इज लो क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी फोर्थ इज वेन अ करंट इज गेन करंट गेन इंक्रीजेस फ्रॉम फिफ्टी टू थ्री हंड्रेड इन एन एमीटर बायस सर्किट द कलेक्टर करंट रिमेन्स ऑलमोस्ट सेम दे डिक्रीजेस बाय अ फैक्टर ऑफ सिक्स इंक्रीजेस बाय अ फैक्टर ऑफ सिक्स और इट इज जीरो एंड द एंसर इज द कलेक्टर करंट रिमेन्स ऑलमोस्ट द सेम क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी फाइव इज इफ द एमीटर रेजिस्टेंस डिक्रीजेस द कलेक्टर करंट वेदर डिक्रीजेस स्टेज द सेम इंक्रीजेस और ब्रेक डाउन द ट्रांजिस्टर एंड द एंसर इज द कलेक्टर वोल्टेज डिक्रीजेस क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी सिक्स इज इफ द एमीटर रेजिस्टेंस डिक्रीजेस क्यू पॉइंट द क्यू पॉइंट मूव अप कलेक्टर करंट डिक्रीजेस क्यू पॉइंट स्टेज वेहर इट इज और करंट गेन इंक्रीजेस and the answer is q point moves up if the emitter resistance decreases question number uh, 57 is bjt is what current control device voltage control device power control device or none of the above and bjt is current control device uh, 58th question is a bjt is in saturation region if base emitter function is reverse bias and base collector junction is forward bias both the junction are reverse bias both the junction are forward bias or base emitter junction is forward bias and base collector junction is reverse bias and the answer is c that is both junctions are forward bias question number 59 is doping concentration of bjt is high in what emitter region base region collector region or none and the answer is in emitter region doping concentration of bjt is high then question number 60 is if a transistor is operating with both of its uh, junctions forward bias but the collector base forward bias greater than emitter base forward bias then it is operating in the forward active mode reverse saturation mode reverse active mode or forward saturation mode and the answer is forward saturation mode